All right, I'm ready to make a label for my artwork that I've been working on here, now that it's finally done. So I'm gonna start with just a note card. You can use whatever paper you have around. Um, you probably just wanna make it pretty small so that way it's not too big, it doesn't distract from your artwork. So I'm gonna start with my name. So because this is a label and it's gonna be hung next to my artwork, I want to make sure that I use my best handwriting. So I'm going to take my time and write my name. Now I need to think of a title, a name for my artwork. So this label is from another painting that hung in a gallery, so I'm gonna think of another name for this painting right here. I put quotes around my title, and that just helps people know that that's the title of the piece. Usually if you're typing up your label, you would put it in italics so that they're on like a slant. That way people know that's a title, but you can do it either way. All right, next, if you want to put the materials that you use for your artwork, you can. So this one was a pen and watercolor painting. So I might just put ink and watercolor. And then it's on paper, so I'm just gonna put on paper. This just helps the audience know what you use to make it, because they might be curious. Sometimes it's not clear what the artist used to make their artwork and they might want to know. All right, next you need to put the year that you created it in. So it's probably from this year, but if it's not, you can try to think of what year you made it in. Mine's from 2020, so I'm gonna put 2020. And my label's pretty much done. I still think that this label is a little too big because my name and everything did not take up the whole space. So what I might do is flip it over and use the lines to guide my cutting, to cut it into a smaller rectangle. Now this is ready to be hung on a wall. So usually when you hang your artwork, you'll hang your artwork on the wall so you can tape it. And then you can decide if you want the label to be put to the right hand side like it is now. Or sometimes artists put it underneath of their artwork lined up with the edge here. So you can decide whichever way you like better to hang your artwork. If you want to, you can even hang multiple paintings or drawings or things that you make on the wall. If I wanted to hang this one next to it because they're both really bright and colorful, I can make another label for this one and hang them both together. That way I have a collection or exhibit of artwork.